Good day, my name is uh, retired Colonel William Butley, and uh, I'm from West Coast Central in New Island province where Solar One uh, project will be uh, conducted by Natalus. Uh, the government of Papua New Guinea has approved the uh, environmental uh, impact assessment, subsequently providing, uh, approving the uh, mining license to Natalus. I would like to say from the onset that there was not enough consultation uh, between the national government, the developer, and those stakeholders who are responsible to tell the people back at home what impact, what benefit this particular project would give to the people of New Ireland. I do understand that Natalus was rejected from, uh, from Medang and subsequently in his New Britain, and they saw fit to go to New Ireland where the government has seen fit to actually issue the license. Uh, we do also understand the fact that uh, there is no seabed mining globally, and we feel we are going to be used as guinea pigs in this particular project. Uh, we feel that uh, underneath, underneath the organic law of Papua New Guinea, which states that consultation is very, very critical in any process of development, we see that that did not happen. Uh, the issue of telling us what would be the consequence of a irreversible seabed uh, environmental effect was never been told to us. Now, we are left in the dark. We are uncomfortable with this seabed mining. The mere fact that we know is that it's going to touch into the garden that we have been using for the rest of our life since immaterial time. And because of that, and because of poor lack of consultation, and we are not affected in this, in this particular uh, exercise. We have been pushed aside. In that regard, we have been trying to source information to try to, to be able to try to understand the impact of this particular project. We are so concerned about the cultural heritage that we've got. We come from a very well-renowned and documented sack calling area, of which I'm one of those people who owns the sack calling. Uh, we had issues is to do with other secret sites that we have got. Each clan along the west coast has got secret sites on land and it directs into the sea. Now there are certain areas in the sea that the clan owns. It has got name to it. It has got significant cultural values to it. Experience of you can say that I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. I don't go out. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry I go out. I don't have to worry about it. 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 I don't have I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry I was out and I was Lelabut, but not lelabut now. And down now, down to run now. Now, by no way, mark now, by no yet. Time if I use him, no, no, my time inside, you will go out. Look, so we nothing now. So, the very much I say, I'm so we are going to break, pass him, suck, you go, you go, you go, you go. But the very kiss him, seven now, long can we make and sit down at the room. Seven long, the set up, see, I say, seven, seven long, so can you? Say, stop back side, long me, and I put it long, can you? I tell Bami Golong to set up now, say, Mark now, hold the blue blood. Bami Masana long set up so over there by speaking on a ghost along, hold it below canoe. And now we have me, if you miss out of some, and now the Selili, the Selili, and Mark Blum Venom, beside that room. There is also secret parts of death where we believe, traditionally believe, that when people die, the spirit follow that path and it is taught away out there. More so, we understand that Solvar One is going to be situated on one of the biggest protected areas. 
and that is the Mugar Square, where tuna breeding takes place. It is unique only to this particular area, and it provides tuna not only for New Orleans, but for the entire region and the world. And it is also situated within the uh, Golden Triangle, which is of significant importance to the world, where a lot of uh, special uh, sea species do actually exist. Uh, we do understand that if the impact of this, of this uh, project do happen, we might lose for good the values and the traditions that it has been part and parcel of our identity. This is a real concern to us. As a, as a leader representing the people of uh, New Orleans who advocate strongly against Natalus, we say no to this. We say no to Natalus, to deep sea mining. We are saying to the uh, national government of, uh, of Papua New Guinea to take, to take uh, responsible actions. The actions that it has taken is basically an action uh, uh, equivalent to an act of genocide. Now, we have petitioned uh, the national government uh, in August last year, uh, the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, Minister for Mining, Minister for Environment and Conservation, MRA, and uh, Minerals and Joe Asset, that is the department responsible for policy in mining. Up to date, we have not yet received any answer. Since then, last week, we wrote to the national government again and asked for a consultative team to meet with us this month. What we intend to do now is that because the government have decided not to listen to us, we are planning a mass protest against the decision that the national government has granted to Natalus. Failing that, we will be taking a court injunction to restrain the national government and Natalus and all its stakeholders from proceeding with this particular uh, project. And we, the people of West Coast, we say no. No to seabed mining and especially studying it with Solvara One. Thank you.